Welcome to our demonstration of the new auto-deploy stateless caching mode introduced with VMware vSphere version 5.1. Note, this video shows how to enable auto-deploy stateless caching in an environment that is already configured to use auto-deploy. This video does not go over the steps to configure the DHCP scope options, the TFTP boot directory, or enable the auto-deploy server. For information on how to configure these components, refer to the auto-deploy stateless mode video. Here we have a three-host cluster, with each host configured to boot using auto-deploy. For this demo, each host has been configured with a local 2GB disk that we will now set up for stateless caching. The first step to enabling stateless caching is to edit the host profile and set the system image cache configuration to use stateless caching. To configure the host profile, select the host profile. Edit the host profile. Expand the Advanced Configuration Settings. Select the System Image Cache Configuration. From the pull-down on the right, select Enable Stateless Caching on the host. When we select the option to enable stateless caching, we need to provide information about the disk where the ESXi image will be saved. The syntax for specifying the disk is the same as for doing a scripted installation of ESXi. By default, it will select the first local disk. Note that you have the option to specify whether any existing VMFS volumes on the disks should be overwritten or preserved using the checkbox. Each time you edit a host profile, you are given the option to update any host-specific attributes for the hosts attached to the host profile. We don't have any additional updates, so we will click Finish to save the changes. With the host profile configured for stateless caching, the next step is to configure the BIOS boot order for the ESXi hosts. For stateless caching, configure the BIOS to boot from the network by default and to fall back to the local hard disk should the network boot fail. This is key to enabling stateless caching. With the BIOS properly configured, we'll now reboot host 03A. The host will perform a network boot and load the ESXi image from the auto-deploy server. After the boot and after the host is configured, the ESXi image running in memory is saved to the local disk that was assigned when we enabled stateless caching in the host profile. Here we see that host 03A has completed the reboot and has rejoined the cluster. To see how stateless caching works, let's simulate a network problem by stopping the DHCP server. This will prevent the host from pixie booting, which will cause the host to fall back to the disk image saved during the previous boot. Remember, we set the BIOS to have the host boot from the hard disk in the event the network boot fails. We will now initiate another reboot of host 03A. Here we see the Pixie boot has failed because we shut down the DHCP server, and the host is falling back to booting from the local disk. Prior to vSphere 5.1, if the network boot should fail, the host would not be able to boot. With stateless caching, we see that the host is able to boot despite the network problem. It does this by falling back to the disk image that was cached to the disk during the last successful network boot. Now that the host is booted, we can log on to the console to access the ESXi shell, view logs, and troubleshoot the problems that prevented our host from successfully booting over the network. Once the issue has been resolved, we can either manually reconnect the hosts in vCenter and apply the host profile to finish the host configuration, or we can simply reboot the host and let AutoDeploy automate the task of adding the host back to the cluster. This concludes the demonstration of the new AutoDeploy stateless caching mode introduced with VMware vSphere 5.1. Thank you.